Archaeology helps all of us understand who we are. What is archaeology? Archaeology is understanding the past, anything that happened the day before yesterday, and going all the way back to the beginning of human history, through the physical remains that people have left behind. If I want to go about becoming an archaeologist, how do I do that? First of all, try to go on an excavation and find out whether archaeology is really for you. The best way to do this is if you are in the United States, call the local historical society or a nearby university and find an excavation in the vicinity. There is no state in the country where archaeology isn't happening. All archaeology is good. You don't have to spend a lot of money to travel far away. But if you want to, you can. Excavations around the world have, ex have digs where they take volunteers, find excavations, and uh, see which take volunteers, when they are in the field, how much it costs. You don't need any experience to go, and you can, in many cases, even be a high school student and be engaged in an excavation. You can be a retired person and engage in an excavation. I have had people from the ages of 12 to 70 on my excavations, and all have been great. Good luck. I'm curious, why is archaeology important in today's world and how is it rel relevant to today? The past isn't gone, not to anybody. The past is part of our understanding of where we stand in the world. So there are political groups, religious groups, cultural groups who want to use the past and its material remains to help them justify or identify or understand themselves better. But mostly, archaeology is still relevant to everybody because anybody who has saved an item from their own past picked up a token of a culture from long ago and held it in their hands has connected in one fell swoop with the reality of people who came before us. And that power still counts inside us for so much. Archaeology is the way we recover those remains, we explain those remains, and we bring those remains to everybody. So I know that Near Eastern archaeology and Biblical archaeology are different. I was wondering if you can sort of explain those differences and maybe tell us about any, any the interaction between your, your experience in academia and maybe proponents of Biblical archaeology and what that's been like trying to navigate those differences. That's a great question. I have worked in Israel since 1973 but I'm not a biblical archaeologist. I first came to Israel from the worlds of classical archaeology, studying Greece and Rome. This was a region that was part of those worlds. And it was only halfway through my experiences in Israel that it really became clear how many people who work here study this region from a completely different point of view, the point of view of the relationship of this region with the biblical stories that were written about this place. People who are interested in biblical archaeology are just as interested in archaeology as Near Eastern archaeologists, that is to say they're interested in the material remains, but they're interested for a different reason. The biblical stories are still very powerful and meaningful, and it is those stories that makes the material remains matter to a biblical archaeologist. They don't matter on their own. They matter because of how they relate to, illustrate, inform, 
and for some verify or refute the stories that are still so powerful. A Near Eastern archaeologist looks at the biblical stories as a set of documents that were written in a certain time and place like king's lists and other sorts of written remains, not as the reason to study a place, but as something that was produced in that place. And for a Near Eastern archaeologist or a classical archaeologist like me, it's the rhythms, the pressures, the changes of that place through history over time, the collision of cultures, the evolution of society, the intersection of different peoples and their politics that makes this place worth studying. So a Near Eastern archaeologist comes at it from a different point of view than a biblical archaeologist, but both biblical archaeologists and Near Eastern archaeologists care about the past and think that the material remains of that past have something to tell us.